Hi guys and welcome and um, this time I'm going to show you how to install the new Miami Day mod uh, as I see there's a lot of people still have problems with that now the first thing you need to do is download the mod gone on to the wrong page there um, I'll put the link in the description to the Miami modifications page on Facebook and um, links are on there that will take you to where you can download them so as I say I, you've heard me say before I always download into me download folder there's three files you're going to need you're going to need the Miami Day modification 2.2 you're going to need the Miami Day modification patch 2.21 and you're going to need the Miami Day not enough space fix. So they're the three files that you need. If you've got the alpha version on your computer, you, you best just take that out and, and start afresh with the new version. So we'll go to the first one that we need to open. And of course, first of all, you need to extract it. And as you see, once again, I work from the downloads folder. Never put anything into your mod folder until you know it's ready to, to put in there. It will just stop you having trouble. And this will just all depend on how quick your computer is. And I have to be honest, it always seems longer when you're doing a video. If I wasn't doing a video, this would be, would have probably already been, you know, it's just typical. As the old saying goes, it's like watching paint dry. Maybe there. And there we go. So I'll get rid of that so I don't click it again by mistake. As you know, if you're watching the videos, I've already got them stored. And I like to clean, keep the computer clean. Right, this is where some of you probably are coming into your problems. You've got your folder there. You're assuming that it's it's ready, and you're dragging it into your mods, into your games mod folder, and um, that's totally wrong. What you need to do is open this up, and you'll see. That there's other files inside Coronas, Navigator, Miami Readme PDF. So, what the first thing you're going to do is this is the actual folder of the Miami mod. And remember on my previous videos that I said to check inside it that it looks like this. But you don't want to put that in yet because you've got you've got things you need to do. So I'm going to move that onto the desktop. out the way so that I can work on it there we go and I'll move this across 
Oh, yeah. Right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is Coronas. So what you need to do is open up your emergency for and go to open file location. Uh, whoops, move it across. Silly thing. Move it across. Data. Textures. I think it comes under textures. I'll check. Yeah. So you need to open it up. Go down to textures. Find your Corona file. Open it up. Go into here. Highlight. Drag and highlight all of these. Right click your mouse and click copy. Then you need to drag them. Now I've already done it, but I'll do it again. It won't make no difference. And you need to drag them into here. And it will say replace files in this destination. Click yes. Do this for all of them. And it will replace the coronas. Now, I would suggest before you do any of this sort of thing, keep a file of you, keep a copy of the coronas file somewhere on your computer. Um, and then that way, if you have any issues later on, you can take the old Corona file that you the Corona file you put in and you can replace it with the first one. But you shouldn't have any issues. So I'm going to move that back to that. It might seem a lot of um, faff, but it is easier to work this way. So I'll take that back. So the Coronas is done. Delete. Right, now this navigator one, this is really up to you whether you put this in. And I'll show you what it says about this. What you'll need to do is, you, if you want to know what that's about, open the PDF README about how to install. Now, I don't put it in. And I'll show you why I don't put it in. But it's entirely up to you. Right, so I need to go to installation. Right, installation. The modification, modification came as an already installed package. So after downloading it, you need to click on the archive and unpack it with an archive program, like I did my archive program with 7-Zip. Now it says, next you want to move the Miami Dade modification version 2 folder into your mods folder, wherever that is in your game, right? But I chose not to do that just yet. Because I like to work in outside of me mod folder and put it in later when I've got it all ready. Right, the next step you need to do is install the Corona package, which you've just seen me do there. Right, this is the customised this navigation thing that I've just showed you. You can have Miami themed unit group icons, but they come with a cost of replacing them at a at the base of your game so you replace these icons in the base of your game right so the cost is going to be that they're going to appear in all your other all your other mods yeah so you read that there so it says the game so if you try loading any other mod you will still get them so if you load the um Budapest mod, Yugoslavia mod, whatever mod you load, 
you'll get them icons in there. Now you may not want to have that for realism. You might want the original one. So if you don't want these to appear, don't don't install them. Yeah. So that's that step. Now because there's a patch with this, that's why I don't want to put it into my mod folder yet. So I'll close that. And that's like I say, that's your navigator. If you want them to appear on all your mods, you, you, you can put them in. But you do it in the base game, you do it at your own risk. So I'm finished with this one. So I can delete it. So I don't make a mistake. Uh, yeah, you can hear me phone go there. Right, now we go to the patch. And we open it. We'll extract it first. With the 7-zip. Let me, um, let me close this down. I'll extract to me downloads. There we go. Delete. Open it up. Right, so now you open up this one as well. Just double click on it. And what I do is this scripts. So I'll open up the scripts. Open up the scripts on that one. Game command. Game command. Game command. Copy. You can either copy and paste them. Or you can drag them in there. So I'll just copy and paste them. And it'll say replace the foils. There you go. Go back out of that onto your main game thing. Go back here. Now I'll get rid of that because I've done it. Don't want to make any mistakes of doing it. Now we go to specs. There we go. So you go to your specs folder. Do that. You can either copy or paste or you can select all, whatever you, whichever you want to do it. I'll copy and paste them. Any blank part of the screen you can do it in. Once again, it'll ask if you want to replace, you do. There you go. Take that back. And delete it. Take this back. To your main part of the game. And do this. I mean, you don't have to put this bit in. That just tells you what's what's been done in that patch and you see you've got your E4 mod info and the key so you want to get those two copy paste replace the files there you go We'll just check. Yep, that's everything done there. So we'll get rid of that. Now, we've got that on the main screen, so... Oh, I didn't want to... Yeah, we did. That'll do. Extract this folder. Create that one. Open it up. Run out. Open your specs folder again. Open that one. Copy. And paste again. Replace the files.
ไม่มีลบมีคอนทูเซาเบอร์โอ้ยนายเบมยี่ร้อยดียี่มอนต์ร้อยดีซึ่งพอเคลื่อนซิมีอย่างตัวนี้ก็จะดีโปรดคลิกที่ Desktop icons for emergency 4091 first responders. Click on your mods folder. And then drag and drop it in. Continue. And then once this is done, I'll show you it working in your There you go. Open it. Like I said on the previous video about installing mods, just check that it looks like that with all your audio, your emitters, language, all of them files in there, and these bits at the bottom. And you're all ready to go on this. Another thing I want to tell you beforehand is when you open that PDF, there was something else I wanted to tell you about. What was it? Um, Stick my mind now. Read the PDF. It will come back to me. Um, give me a few seconds. Um, oh yes, I know what it was. It was something about the polygrams or something. Um, that you will need the game when you when you go to the main menu. Go into your settings. And you need it at least on medium, not low. You, you, you need it at least on medium. So um, I'll end this bit now and then I'll open Emergency 4 game and I'll just show it quickly loading. Right, we've loaded up the Emergency 4 game or your 911 first responders game. Now, remember that one? I couldn't remember what I needed to do. You go into your graphics and you need to set details to medium, medium. I'll keep them on because mine's a bit slow. I'm not going to play the mod at the moment, but it's just to show you. And then you go down to your modifications, and there you go, your Miami Day 2.21 is in there. Click on it, click OK, and as normal, the screen will go, will freeze. And the length of time this will freeze will depend on your computer. You know, if you've got a super gaming laptop it shouldn't take that long uh, mine will take a bit longer I think because mine's not the best it hasn't got the worst graphics card but it hasn't got the best thing either. And like you'll see in many of the uh, readings and that, it will say, go and make a cup of tea if you drink tea or whatever. And normally by the time you come back, the screen will have started moving at the back again. However, there are some times out I've come back and it's still been frozen. Patience, that's what it takes sometimes. I mean, if you're a regular player, you'll know that most mods don't take a lot. It depends on how much detail is in the mod, to be honest. Um, some mods can can load in two to three minutes. Um, well, there's 
let's say 15 20 minutes and if it goes over half an hour I would pretty much say um, you got a problem and it might have hung on you I mean even on my um, old one before this that was a an Intel graphics card I don't think there was any that didn't take longer than 15 minutes uh, the only problem was that some of them crashed because it weren't powerful enough but they're still loaded in a decent time as I say you've got the Facebook page to, um, for the Moriamon modification on there you should be able to find all the links you will probably find them on um, Emergency Planet or the Emergency Fan Forum that's probably where they are um, you do need to register for those sites and you do need to log in to download um, I read somewhere I know people have had problems who have forgot their login details for Emergency Planet but I read somewhere that they are actually getting back to to sorting that and answering you've just got just be patient and wait once you've, you've asked they should get back to you that's what I've read somewhere don't know how true it is um, but you really do need to register for that site because um, I'm not going to be here doing this forever and if you can't get on that site some people have asked me to help them get the mods in and well like I say you you've eventually got to do it because you, you'll find pretty much not many people will will help you get them loaded so sign up and wait for a reply be patient they'll, they'll get back to you hopefully so now we have got it loaded we go to free play and I always play the endless I don't play the challenge here we go to that and, uh, and here we go we've got the uh, emergency for Miami day mode welcome to Miami and you just be patient with this bit as well now it's a bit dry so I'm going to have a swig of me pop or soda or juice whatever anybody calls it and as I mentioned in the um, tutorials I did yesterday about load, how to load different types of mods I will show you how you can um, edit some of the files to to make your game the length between events take longer time of day um, weather you can even do I've never really changed the weather to be honest um, because I don't like it I don't like it when it plays on night mode because it's just, too dark for when I do videos really um, so I change it so that the day cycle doesn't change from daytime that's why you probably never noticed it, it, it go to night in any of my videos uh, that's the reason why um, there's lots of things you can do you can even if your vehicle if the vehicles are running pretty slow in the mod especially emergency vehicles you can you can get you can speed them up um, in certain files there's, there's a lot you can do to change the game for your needs well, we're not far off now now I'm just hoping that this doesn't crash uh, as you've seen I have played this so it uh, shouldn't do 
but it's just, it would just be typical when I'm doing this for it to play up I've been said about changing the thing to um, medium the last videos I, I did I hadn't noticed that and I was playing on um, on the lowest setting and it seemed all right to me however I don't know um, here's your test to see if it works there you go This has been a, a bit of a... I can't turn that here. I'm having trouble turning it. things you need to make your fire station run, your hospital down here there you go that's how to load your Miami Dade modification catch you in the next video guys hope this was uh, informative to you. Bye for now. Vehicle fire caused by technical defect.